Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys a story time on my worst date ever. Guys, when I say this is my worst date, I don't even know whether to call it a date or just to call it linking up. I don't know. It wasn't, I wouldn't say it's a date, but just for the sake of this video, we'll call it a date. But we basically just linked up and this was my worst link ever. Like, to this day, I'm so traumatized, guys. But yeah, let's get into the video. So guys, so basically, this boy, um, I only knew him for like, for like a few days. Don't ask me why I was linking somebody that I didn't even know like that but let me explain the story okay let me explain the story so basically he popped up on my snap just the usual trying to move to me okay. so we started talking since he sent me like what it looks like and then i was like okay 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 and then i was like send me a picture but then i was just like just go on my instagram there's a lot of pictures there so I gave him my Instagram and we started talking. Just to be honest, the talking was just there. Like it wasn't anything serious. But then this boy was just weird. Like after the second after the first day, he was already asking me to be his girlfriend. He was already telling me I was gonna pay, he's gonna give me allowances to be his girlfriend. I was thinking like, you actually work in KFC. Like pipe down, relax. You work at KFC, so relax. And then the worst part of it was like when I asked him, okay, as a girlfriend, how much allowance will you give me? He said 20 pounds. Egbam. She, do I look like a babe that will collect 20 pounds? To, even if, let's say I was one of those girls that, you know, okay, pay me allowance to be a girlfriend. She, 20 pounds, it will look like. Even back then, the glow up wasn't there. But still, like, 20 pounds is an insult. But anyway, fast forward now. I've told him I wanted to go get... So he's asked me, like, what, I was, what I'm going to be up to during the weekend. And then I was just like, um, I'm going to go Blue Water to get my foundation. Because there's this MAC foundation. There was this MAC foundation that I've been, like, wanting to get. So finally, I had, like, enough cash for it. And then I was like, yeah... I'm going to go blue water and get that and come back home and do some work. And then I was like, oh, he doesn't live far from blue water. He lives in, I'm not going to say where he lives. Just in case he stumbles on this video before he knows it's the one I'm talking about. But then it was like, he doesn't live too far from blue water. That we should link and that we should go to the cinema, get food and then I can get my foundation. And the only reason I agreed to link him was because he told me. So basically the guy works at Blue Water and then in Blue Water you get like discounts on some of the shops. So he was like he gets discounts so like he can come and bring my and bring his discount card for me to buy my foundation so I get 25% off. That was the only reason I agreed to see this boy because I really wasn't feeling it. So fast forward to the day now. I've I didn't even dress up. My friend was asking me, am I going to wear makeup? Am I going to do this? Am I going to do that? So I was like, do makeup to see who? To see? To see? To see who? So I've just gone something. I just wore some ugly, the ugliest outfit I had. Not intentionally back then. I just used to, you know. <laughs> Not intentionally. It's just back then. I didn't used to dress up like that. I was just going to get foundation. Nothing serious. So yeah, fast forward now, I've got into Blue Water. I've called, I've tried to call him, it wasn't picking up. I messaged him, he didn't answer. So I was just like, you know what? But before I got to Blue Water, I already told me that he's gonna be late. So I waited for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I was just like, shall I just go get my foundation and just go home? Cause I don't have time for this. If you be begging to see me, the least you could do is show up on time. You get what I mean? So I've stayed there now, but then I was like, you know what, it might be rude to just leave because he's only actually coming all the way here to see me. And I was just, and you know, me, I'm a nice girl. I decided to wait. 
but the thing is back then my pet peeve was like people that were late so if you're keeping me more than 10 minutes like if you're keeping me waiting for more than 10 minutes like the attitude i'm gonna give you you're gonna hate it <laughs> so fast forward now 30 minutes the guy hasn't showed up for the five minutes no show then one hour came i was about and one hour came and by this time i was hungry so i went to mcdonald's and i was about to like order something to eat and then the boy called me and then it was like where are you and i said i'm by mcdonald's five minutes later i've seen the boy i've seen somebody that looks like him and i've said jesus is this the person i'm coming to meet guys so guys before we met i actually asked this boy how tall he is and he said it was six for one so tell me where i've turned around now and i'm seeing somebody that is like five foot zero this boy was five foot guys bear in mind i'm like five foot six seven ish so it's like why am i linking somebody that i'm times two that height it doesn't make any sense and it's the fact that he lied to me and then when I confronted him that he lied about his height, do you know what he told me? Do you know what he told me? It was like it doesn't matter at all. It doesn't matter. I'm just like, well, if it didn't matter, I wouldn't ask you. Because clearly it matters to me, so you lied to me. When I tell you I'm two times taller than this boy. And I said, you know what? <sighs> Shall I just turn around and go home now? But then I felt like he already saw me. So I just had to, you know, say hi. It was so awkward because I was already like angry. Like he kept me over an hour. He kept me waiting for over an hour. Already, that makes it the worst date ever. But I'm going to go into why it's the worst, worstest date in a bit. So now it's come. I can't really remember what happened after that. But um, basically, the first thing we did, I think, was we went to the cinema because we wanted to go watch a movie. So we went to the cinema to check um, what movie we we're going to watch and let's pay for the ticket as well. Guys, bear in mind, this boy has been giving me all those promises of how he's going to take care of me, give me money, give me allowance, give me this, give me that. So when we got to the cinema now, we picked the movie and then it was time to pay me if you ask me to come and watch movie you must be ready to pay because i don't understand so when it was time to pay now i said okay that's the movie we're going to watch go and pay and i went to sit down jj <laughs> because you're the one that said Esther. yeah i told you i was going to buy mac foundation you're the one that dragged me into cinema so best believe i'm not spending my money on cinema you go and pay Guys, the cinema total was like fourteen pounds. Tell me why this boy was struggling. It was color lowing. It was really stammering for 40, 14 pounds. But this is the same guy that was this guy. This is the same boy that was telling me he's gonna give me allowance. He's gonna shower me with this. He's gonna. So I wasn't planning to pay any cinema money. I was just like, you know what? This one you drag me to the cinema, you're gonna pay. And then he tried to use his discount, but the discount card wasn't working. So he had to pay full price. At the end of the day, he paid. After looking at the cashier, talking, 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 he ended up paying. Guys, I'm not blaming him because at, at the end of the day, it was like 17, 18. So I wasn't even expecting him to be rich. It was just the fact that if you know you haven't got money, don't promise allowance, don't promise you're going to take it. Just sh close your mouth. I didn't even ask you for money. You're the one that was running your mouth. So that was what pissed me off. I'm not saying at the age of 17, 18, you're meant to have money and you're meant to be squandering it on women. Don't get me wrong. But it was just close your mouth if you don't have the money. Close your mouth. Close your mouth. So when his card started misbehaving, I just said, you know what, let's just go to the Mac store because that's the reason why I'm here. And then for because like the way um blue water is like the place is like circular, so you kind of have to walk all the way from the cinema. You have to walk to the other side of the shopping mall. 
So while we were walking, he kept on trying to hold my hand. And because I'm taller than him, it just felt like, it just felt weird. Because I just felt like I'm your mommy. Don't hold my hand. Okay? I just felt like, yo man, don't do that. And I kept on trying to move my hand, move my hand. But well, little boy wasn't listening. So fast forward now, we've gotten to um, Sephora. We went to Sephora and then we went to the actual map place. Is it Sephora? Anybody that has been to Blue Water, you know what I'm talking about. What they sell with the makeup. We've got in there now and then they've told this boy that, um, that the card doesn't cover MAC. Guys, I was so pissed. This guy kept me an hour. An hour. He kept me waiting for an hour. And on top of that, the only reason why I even agreed to see you, I can't even get it. I ended up shop buying the makeup by myself. I ended up paying the full price. I got the MAC. I ended up being the wrong shade that day. Everything was just higgy -haga. I was so pissed at the end of the day. So, because the movie was still in another hour, I was just like, you know what? Let's just get something to eat. And then it was like, what do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? And I was just looking at him like, you're the one that asked me to come out and go to cinema and eat. So, you better choose it restaurant and we can go and we can go and eat so at the end of the day i was just like you know what this guy is broke let me just say something simple so i was just like let's just go to mcdonald's because before he came i was already about to get some mcdonald's anyway guys my standard order when i go to mcdonald's is two or three chicken mayo the frappuccino stuff and then fries about six pounds seven pounds and so I'm just going to tell you guys that information before I go into the detail. So by the time we get to, um, what's it called, McDonald's now, we were waiting in line and then finally it was our turn to order. Tell me why this boy was rummaging his dirty wallet for voucher. And then it was like, do I want a Big Mac voucher? I was just looking at him like... Is this the same boy that was telling me he's going to pay allowance? I mean, there's nothing wrong with using a voucher. Sometimes I use vouchers because, you know. But it's like, but you've just been promising me too much. And it's like, you're now coming to give me a voucher in McDonald's. Guys, McDonald's is like the cheapest rest, like fast food. So it didn't really add up. And then... When I told him what I told him that the vouchers, there's nothing on there that I want. And then he's like, no, I get a mac chicken sandwich. And guys, I ended up getting a mac chicken sandwich, but then I wanted a frappuccino. Not a frappuccino, what's it called? A caramel frappe and fries. And that was where the fight started. And then this boy was telling me that I should just get something on the voucher and then get um just a regular drink. But then I was like, I don't want that. And the cashier, at this point, the cashier was just looking at us like, is everything okay? At the end of the day, I was just like, you know what, yeah. Order your stuff and I'll order mine. So he ordered the stuff. It added up to like £2.99. This guy was struggling to pay. And then I ordered my stuff. It came up to like six ninety nine seven pounds like I said. And at this point, I didn't even ask him to pay because, yeah. I already know his situation, so I just left it. So I paid. We've gone. So now, you know how Blue Water is during the weekend. It's always packed, so we couldn't find some way to sit in the sitting area. Like I said, if you go to Blue Water, you probably know what I'm talking about. So now we've gone upstairs. We found like a sitting area. We just sat there and ate. So when I finished eating the burger, guys, I closed the, um, what's it called? The wrapper. And this was like, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. He opened it and started eating the lettuce, the remnant lettuce, 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 whatever you want to call it. That was in there. And I was just like, are you okay? And then I was like, oh, my dad said we should eat all the leaf. Don't leave anything to waste. And I was just thinking like, <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? Guys, this story doesn't make sense if I didn't, if I don't tell you. It's got like a very thick Ibadwa accent mixed with English accent. So already, that was, you know. Guys, I'm not hating. I know I have an accent as well. So yeah. 
but it's like his was really thick like this is why it's good to talk to people facetime talk before you now go and meet them guys i forgot to even mention why this boy said it was late because i asked him like why the fuck are you an hour late and then he was like oh you just it was like oh you went to his barbers to get a haircut but then i'm looking at this boy's head and i'm just like so where's the haircut and then it was like oh his barber sent him back home because he didn't make a booking so you had the whole of yesterday to go and get a haircut you had the whole of the day before to go get a haircut and it's the time that i was meant to meet you was going to your baba's like does that make any sense so fast forward now it's time to go watch the movie this boy wouldn't leave me alone I just even had to sit somewhere where everybody can see us because like I, w I wanted to make sure that nothing happened or nothing I mean nothing was gonna happen either way but you know just to be sure and then this boy for the whole of the movie was trying to kiss me kiss me kiss me and I was just like no 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 wasn't listening then I was like okay I'm shy because the cinema was a bit full so then I was just like, I'm shy, I don't like kissing in public, da 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 it left me alone. And then, during the movie, he was just telling me it's rubbish. And then after the movie, so guys, when you come out of the cinema, there's like this alleyway. Tell me why he was trying to push me to the corner to come and kiss him. And I was just like, leave me the fuck alone, I don't want to kiss you, like, I'm already so pissed off. So he was just like, leave me alone. And then after the movie, he was like, do I want to walk around? Do I don't want to do it? And I was just like, ew, I don't want to even see you ever again. So fast forward now. This boy has asked me to borrow him £10. I will send the £10 back to my account. No, he said no. This is what he said. He said I should give him £2.50 that he's going to give me back £10. You that can't even afford McDonald's for £2.69. How can you afford to borrow £2.50 and give back £10? So at this point, I was just pissed. I just walked off and I just gone home. So yeah, that's the that's the that's the that's basically the story. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.